Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Don't Be Average. In this video, you will understand the concepts behind linear regression. I have been working in the analytics industry for many years now. And trust me, how many ever fancy models we learn, this is one go-to algorithm that we first try to apply before we improvise into any other algorithms. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Let's say you are working out and you want to lose weight. You are planning to put four hours into exercise every week. Won't you be interested to know how much weight you are supposed to lose by the end of the week? And what if you change your workout hours to 10 hours a week, how much you're going to lose in that scenario? So this is a simple example that you can solve using linear regression. And here we are actually predicting weight loss using number of workout hours. I'll give you another example. Let's say you have a brand and you are advertising your brand using Google ads. You have been spending $100 into advertisement, but you want to reduce it to $50. And you want to know how much sales you may lose if you reduce your expenses on advertisement by $50. So here again, we are trying to predict sales using advertisement expenses. So far by these examples, you may have understood that linear regression comes into play when we are trying to understand the relationship between two things and trying to predict one using another. And how we do it is this equation. This is the equation for simple linear regression. Simple because there's only one x variable. So here in this equation, y is called dependent variable. In our case, it is sales. And x is called independent, which is in our case, the dollar spent in advertisement. y is called dependent because y is dependent on x. If you change x, y will change. It has no other choice. So that is why y is called dependent. Now, this is the equation that has all the answers that we were looking for in the examples. If we write it in the form of our example, we get this. So here sales is written as a equation of advertisement and it has A and B, two unknowns. So this linear regression algorithm actually estimates the values of A and B. So like I said, linear regression actually estimates the values of A and B. In this video, we are discussing the application of linear regression and what happens after we find this A and B. If you want to know how linear regression estimates these coefficients, I have explained that step by step in this video. You can also find this video's link on the description. So now let's say the estimated values of A and B is 200 and 2. So now what do we do next? How can we predict the sales now? That's again very simple. So we just put these values in the regression equation that is shown on top. So using this method, when ad spent is $50, predicted sales becomes $300. And when ad spent is $100, sales would be $400. So you are saving $50 in advertisement, but you're also losing $100 in sales, which means it may not be a very good decision. Now let's look at one more interesting scenario. What if you do not spend at all in advertisements? Would you not get any sales? The answer is no. You can still get sales without showing any ads, right? But then how does this equation work in that scenario? So let's try that here advertisement dollars is zero then sales would be a plus b times zero means sales is 200 dollars so even if you are not spending anything on ads you will still continue to get 200 dollars sales this 200 dollars is called baseline or for our case it would be baseline sales it is also called the intercept but that will be more clear when I show you how the linear regression plot looks like. Now let's plot a linear regression. The equation is sales equals 200 plus 2 into advertisement. 
clearly this is an equation of a straight line and that is why we call it linear regression means here sales and advertisement are linearly related if we plot the straight line it will look like this now let's go back to high school maths this line is actually cutting the y-axis at 200 means 200 is the intercept or baseline and this line uh, is going up with the rate of 2 the straight line that we drew the pink one which means that the slope is true we also call this slope as coefficient of the variable advertisement spends in the language of linear regression and statistics we don't call it slope we call it coefficient because this is the number that is multiplied with advertisement spends to get predicted sales fun part you think of any amount of money that you could spend on ads and we will estimate the sales corresponding to that. We know A and B and we know the linear relation. So that is all we need, right? So here you go. Now you have a table full of numbers to help you out on your marketing and advertisement decisions. Let's make it even better. We will check out the weight loss example. So let's say here estimated A is 0 and B is 0 0.25. Let's take some time to understand this. A is 0 means if you don't work out at all, you are not going to lose weight. So now based on these estimated A and B, we are going to predict the weight loss. So here it is. We have put this a values of A and B into the equation and we have predicted the weight loss. For 4 hours, you are going to lose 1 kilo and 10 hours, you are going to lose 2.5. So that is all about the concepts behind linear regression. Thank you so much for listening. In our next video, I'm going to talk about how we estimate the coefficient. Thank you. Every move was on the page, but I didn't like their way. Had to fight and misbehave. Had to find a way to change. Had to leave to find my way. Caught up in a daydream. I beat my mind up here almost daily. It's how I pass time, no opinions safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place. See, because everybody want to tell you bad things.